Hello, hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to Luke Has Ideas here on YouTube. I'm feeling very good this morning. I have my first video suggestions from YouTube comments. Sorry, I, I saw them today. There was a comment in the past week, and I've been kind of away from computers and from YouTube altogether, just planning out a wedding coming up and finishing up edits on this book. And so sorry for any delays. Here's a video. It's so good to be back. I, I logged on today and I saw a comment, multiple comments from people asking for more content having to do with tinnitus. And great, let's talk about tinnitus. Um, ringing in your ears, no fun. Not the most fun thing to experience, but a lot of learning opportunities. You have a big chance to explore yourself, to explore uh, your ability to grow patience, to explore techniques of mental control over your thinking patterns and the way you're going to react to different things in your life. Um, you get a chance to go inward and examine who do you want to be? Who do you want to be as you go through your life and as things happen to you? There's many different ways to interpret having ringing ears and in many different ways to react to it. Uh, trying to not get too woo-woo on you or anything like that. But right now, you have a challenge. You have a challenge in front of you. And what that challenge is, is something's poking you in the side of the head constantly. You're always having some noise. And that sucks. But, like we just said, it's a chance to grow. It's a chance to learn how to deal with that. Maybe, like me, you've, you've tried different methods to make it go away. You, and I'll talk about things that have helped and things I'm trying and, and let you know how that worked for me. But maybe on your journey, you can't seem to find something that stops the ringing. Some people hear it as like a, a whirring, whirl, whir, you know, like a, like a fan. They hear buzzing. Maybe they hear a mosquito. I don't know. I hear high-pitched whines, kind of like a mosquito, and it's very annoying. So, bring in the focus. Let's talk tinnitus. You have to get a hold of some kind of inner patience. You have to find that because you'll drive yourself crazy otherwise. Nothing you do will stop this thing. There's no pleading with it. There's no <laughs> days off. There's no breaks. It's, it's a constant boot on your throat. But in this case, it's a noise in your ears. If you can get past the despair of that, if you can find some way to not give in to the hopelessness feeling of like, I, no matter what I do, it won't go away, then you have the opportunity to grow well beyond where you're at now. To try to stop tinnitus, I have been doing some extreme stuff. Extreme! Do you remember those back in the day? Like, extreme! <laughs> uh, I don't remember what that was. If it was a commercial, a movie, a show, extreme was in everything as a word, as a title. And it just became kind of a meme before memes were memes. Um, so I've been doing some extreme testing of my limits and abilities to try and limit my tinnitus, to try and get rid of the ringing in my ears. Here are the results that I've come across that maybe they can help you. So uh, I've tried ice therapy. I've tried freezing myself and the benefits of such have been amazing. So all the way from like a cold shower to an ice bath to um, cryotherapy, I actually haven't tried. I'm just going to stick with my ice baths. A, they're fairly free uh, outside of like water and power costs. Um, and they, they're very cold. So I, I think I'll stick with that method. Um, very helpful for circulation, for mood. Um, afterwards, I feel amazing. I feel incredibly focused. It helps me not only wake up if I take them in the morning, but it helps me go to sleep at night because your body's 
uh, temperature has to drop in order for you to fall asleep. When you're trying to go to bed, your body wants to get colder. You'll sleep a lot better. So if you freeze yourself before bed, sleep will be improved. Very helpful. As far as ringing in the ears, mild to no help. The ringing's still there. And you don't notice it. After you get out of an ice bath, you just feel good. You, f you feel a boost to uh, your mental performance. You feel a boost physically. You feel a lot better. So you don't really notice that your ears are ringing. You just you feel good. It's a, it's a boost to everything inside of you. So uh, I would highly recommend these to everyone. And regardless of if you have tinnitus or not. But as far as a cure for the ringing in your ears, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. It's not curing it, but it'll make you feel better, which will increase your patience, <laughs> which could buy you time to figure out ways to either cure your tinnitus or learn how to live with it. Uh, next, I've been doing sauna care, so go the other way. Now we're going way to the, the heat side of things. Um, I do not know how hot the sauna is, and that was sauna care not sonic care the toothbrushes you know so i don't know how hot the sauna is it's here at the gym behind me um very warm you be crank it up i like to go two notches from the very top because then i can stay in longer uh i set a timer for 20 minutes and when when the heat temperature is two notches from maximum it's a very grueling 20 minutes. By by minute 15, you should feel like you need to leave the sauna or you're you're pretty sure you're going to start hyperventilating and die. It's you you feel the panic coming on. So you have to remind yourself deep breaths, everything's fine, keep breathing, go into your body. Let your energy really go into your body. Be aware of what's happening there. Realize that you're not as uncomfortable as you think you are. Keep breathing. And those last five minutes, they feel like they last forever. But when you come out after 20, it's the same thing as the ice baths. You feel so good. You feel like you had a crazy workout. Um, again, tinnitus cure? No, not a tinnitus cure. Damn. So thumbs down on that. But uh, it also helps with willpower and patience. Again, buying you more time to deal with your ringing ears. Um, let's see. Extreme cardio. Extreme cardio. <laughs> so this would be something like high intensity interval training. Uh, endurance. I haven't done anything past a 10K in years. So I can't, I can't say too much about like marathon running. But pushing yourself to a uh, an intensity level that's that's very extreme for your physical health for about 30 seconds and then take 30 seconds to walk and then do 30 seconds of sprinting and then 30 seconds to walk i like to go anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes of high intensity interval training that works really well for me um my wife does three to six minutes and she's getting a lot better oh okay, she is she started at like one minute and she's working her way up and I'm very proud of her. She always teases herself. She's like, I could only do six minutes. I'm like that's six minutes more than you did yesterday. That's amazing. <laughs> so um, I would highly recommend HIT training to anyone who wants to increase their cardiovascular health, anyone that wants to improve circulation. And when you pair it with your ice baths and sauna, uh, heat treatment, uh, you're going to be feeling real good about yourself. Again, is it curing tinnitus? And thumbs down, no cure. So I'm doing heat treatment. I'm doing ice baths. I'm doing this high intensity interval training. Still have ringing in the ears. What do I got to do? What do I have to do to cure the ringing in my ears? Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe physically I can't cure it. There's something to think about, but let's come back to that. Let's come back. So the next thing I've done extreme to try and cure ringing in my ears has been fasting. So let's not put in any food, any water, any beautiful uh, concoctions that involve water. 
It's very tasty. So, um, fasting includes not eating, not drinking anything, whether you're doing a wet or a dry fast. Uh, I've experimented with that in the last month, learned a lot about myself, and you've seen some of the videos on that. Um, health benefits through the roof. Amazing, amazing benefits for my body. I can't say enough good things about fasting, but we're going to focus on tinnitus right now. Um, with a wet fast, no food, but you allow yourself water and salts. It has helped for inflammation. So my swollen uh, eardrums, the lymph nodes beneath my ears, whatever those are, <laughs> they, the swelling has gone down quite a bit. And the ringing itself has lowered in volume. The pitch seemed higher, but it was less annoying, like less deep. There was less resonance in the pitch and volume went way down. My left side, almost completely silent when I was doing a wet fast and my right side, much lower volume. So I would highly recommend experimenting with fasting. Um, a dry fast, the longest I've gone without drinking anything was two days. A two-day dry fast in the middle of a seven-day wet fast. And that was interesting. Drastic reduction in swelling of the ears. Um, drastic reduction in volume of the ringing. That was very helpful. But again, did not cure it. Ringing was still there. After I commenced eating again, um, ringing came back. Volume came back. I'm very curious if extending the fast longer would clear everything up. Is it some kind of infection? Is it uh, uh, damaged hair follicles in the inner ear that um, that are that are healing or, or allowed to die off or I don't know I don't know. but would an extended fast past seven days end of the ring? Maybe but I don't know. And I really don't want to recommend to someone just stop eating for weeks to try and cure the ringing in your ears when there could be another way to go about this. Ice, heat, cardio, fasting. All of them have helped me improve as a person. All of them have given me different ways to look at my capabilities, my limits, what I'm able to do and go without and, and work through so all of these different things have taught me not only patience, but the willpower to push through uncomfortable moments. Suddenly the ringing in my ears isn't that big of a deal. Suddenly I'm not as distracted by it because I'm trying to breathe on an elliptical because I'm trying to focus on my breathing while I'm in a sauna and I think I'm going to die <laughs> because I'm trying to focus on breathing when I'm in an ice bath so I don't freeze to death. I'm trying to focus on my breathing so I don't order the hot dog from Costco's <laughs> food line. Because <laughs> if I could just center myself for a moment <laughs> and I won't pull out my credit card and eat after five days of not eating. Ah, see here, here is something we can use. Not just the patience from all these different exercises, not just the difficulty of trying to work through them, but the breathing, you can use breathing techniques to increase your patience, to ignore something that's bothering you, to lessen the suffering that you're going through. I would like to invite you to breathe. It's possibly the most silly thing I've ever said, but <laughs> breathe, just breathe. Breathe. I haven't yet found a cure to the ringing in my ears, but that's okay. If I'm ever feeling hopeless, depressed, I'm feeling the despair of crushing noise in my head. I just want some silence. <sighs> Breathe. No one else can hear this but you right now. No one else is hearing these noises. So, only you are the person that, that can help yourself through it. Only you can choose 
to ignore it, to, to grow through this experience and not let it shape, harm, or otherwise distract you. You don't have to be defined by this. I'm going to call it a disability just for the ease of conversation. You don't have to be defined by this disability. It's just a part of you right now. Accept that. And on your journey to figure out how to deal with it, journey to figure out how to cure it, journey to accept that there might not be a cure, take those moments and breathe. Big deep breaths again and again and again. And you will feel better as you imagine, like take a deep breath and imagine it filling you with patience. I can get through this moment. I can deal with this. And you will. You will. <sighs> because this moment will pass, and the next one will come, and that moment will pass, and you'll still be standing there. Something that was really nice to see was logging on to YouTube and seeing those comments. And people were like, hey, will you make more stuff on tinnitus? We're not alone. You're not alone in, in being plagued by these sounds, whatever they are that you hear. So don't lose hope in that you can talk about your experience and you can be frustrated and you can rant about it. Someone will listen, someone will care, someone will relate to what's going on. It's very, it's very inspiring. Uh, don't give up. <laughs> don't stop fighting to figure out how to deal with this. Even if it's just to increase your patience on a day-to-day -day kind of pace. Just keep breathing. Keep filling yourself with patience. Maybe tomorrow opens up a new chapter, a new, new chance at hope that maybe one day you could experience silence. But don't let that hope drag you down either. You know what I mean? Like, Sometimes hope is poisonous. Sometimes you have to abandon all hope in order to really embrace your true strength. I mean, yeah, does that make sense? Like you have to, you have to get rid of this shred of like, yeah, maybe tomorrow there will be a cure so that you can then stand up on your own two feet and be strong enough to deal with what is happening right now. And that's okay. I'm not saying to be hopeless. I'm not saying to like, abandon all smiling <laughs> I'm saying that you're capable of handling this right now fill yourself with those breaths keep going I'll put out some more content like this this was really all over the place but um, we'll talk some more about it okay have a great day <laughs> go turn on a fan get some white noise going <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for watching have a great day bye and if I may.